I'm Sarah Skerrick with PR Newswire, and I'm going to talk today about supercharging your online visibility using video. Whenever you're doing online video, it's important first and foremost to think about context, because search engines can't index the video itself. What they're looking at is the information around the video. So when you upload a video to YouTube, for example, or another sharing site like Metacafe or Vimeo, you'll want to take some extra care as you craft the title, the tags, and the description. Be very descriptive and use the same sort of keywords that you'd use when you craft a press release. In the title, I'm, for an example, let's imagine I'm uploading videos for a haberdasher about how to tie men's ties. Instead of just saying how to tie a tie, if the video is about a wins or not, by all means put how to tie a wins or not in the title. Likewise, you can use the tag field to insert some different information. You could put the phrase tie a tie, because people will search for how to tie a tie. But you could also put wins or not in the tag field. And then in the description, you'll, that's where you can actually write a paragraph that talks about the video, includes a link to your website, very important, and also includes those important keywords. So the context is really important, and we're going to come back to this a couple times as we talk a little bit further. Distribution is also important. You can either do this yourself, or if you've got a big video that you really need to get out, PR Newswire can do it for you as well. The principle is the same. We take the video, or you take the video, whichever, and you put it on different sites like YouTube, Vimeo, SlideShare, all sorts of different sites that each have their own unique engaged audiences who also happen to be social and are into finding stuff and sharing stuff. Once you've got your video up on your video sharing sites, then that's where some interesting things can happen. You can embed the video from YouTube or another site onto your blog, other bloggers can do it as well, or onto web pages. Now if you're doing this, this is really important because a search engine will see the link back and forth between the video site and your website. And this important link really creates some important context that helps the search engine understand what the video is about. So this is where the descriptive information you've put on the video site really comes into play. But likewise, don't forget the context when it comes to your blog and your website. Don't just post the link to the YouTube video there. Don't just rather embed the YouTube video there. Put some more context around that, including links to other related web pages. Now, the one other opportunity I want to talk a little bit about is Facebook. Facebook is where I'm going to tell you not to embed the YouTube video, if at all possible. Now, you can, of course, link to a YouTube video on a Facebook wall, no problem. But it's best if you can upload the video directly to YouTube, or I'm sorry, directly to Facebook. Upload videos directly to Facebook. Here's why. Facebook's edge rank algorithm determines what we see in the news feed. It doesn't put lame, boring stuff, uh, you know, someone's latest acquisition on Farmville. That really doesn't make it into the top news that we see by default when we log into Facebook. It selectively picks out the most interesting things, and it gives video a little extra weight. So if you upload a video directly to Facebook, it's going to get some extra visibility love from EdgeRank. And if you have a good video that people like, and they're liking, commenting, sharing it, they're interacting with it, that's going to boost it even higher. Now, here's where something really cool happens. Imagine you and I are friends on Facebook, and I upload a video, and you like it. The people who you are friends with in your network are also going to see the fact that you liked that video, and they're going to see that video in their news feeds, and there will be a like button to my video in your Aunt Mabel's news feed. And you know what? If your Aunt Mabel does digital communications, I have just been introduced to her via you. She's got the opportunity to immediately become a friend of, or a fan of my page because the become a fan invitation is embedded in that video. So there's a real extra calling card bonus that happens when you upload video directly to Facebook. So all of this is fine and dandy, but it's also really important to remember the user. Video is about providing interesting information to your audience 
you really will do best if you send out information that they like, that they want to share, that they want to consume. So all bets are off. None of this counts if you're developing really boring video, but if you've got great content that people like, follow these steps and you'll get even better online visibility for it.